Welcome to the Back Nine Network Does It Drive Research and Development Facility at a top secret location somewhere in North America. Here, we apply rigorous scientific methods and experimental techniques designed to answer perhaps the most important question in the history of mankind. Does it drive? When I go to bed at night, I sleep soundly knowing that I've got world long drive champion Mike Dobbin on my team. Dude's a beast. Does he frighten me sometimes? Yeah, but that's okay. Here at the Does It Drive Research and Development Facility, we are constantly conducting mind-blowing experiments. So I decided to see what it would be like if we actually, literally, blow a real mind. But the producers wouldn't let me use an actual human head, so we're gonna use this guy. His name's Carl. And just for fun, we're gonna light that shit on fire. Mike, fake human head on fire named Carl, would you hit that? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We've just lit Carl's head on fire. It's not looking too good for him, but that's the least of Carl's problems because he's got a driver traveling at upwards of 140 miles per hour heading straight for his flaming face. But in spite of this impending chaos, Carl just stares straight ahead, unfazed and emotionless. You've got to respect that. I want you to take it to the lab and uh, we want to do a an, an full spectral analysis. Okay, good, go. Oh no. Carl, uh, Carl's dead. I uh, think we saw what happens when Mike Dobbin generates 150 miles per hour swing speed and connects flush to the face with a titanium driver. Uh, probably didn't help that his head was engulfed in the flames at the time. Multiple skull fractures, burns, uh, there's, there's nothing left in there. His, his mind was completely blown, as was mine. If you'd like to see more of the science behind drivability, visit us at back9network.com or hit us up on Twitter at Does It Drive.